We're following more developing news tonight. More than 100 repeat offenders in Seattle are going to be getting some special treatment. The city attorney announcing today a new initiative that will focus on defendants who use the jail and the court system the most. Fox 13 News reporter Matt Margovich has been following the repeat offender issues for years, and he's here to put this initiative into some context. Matt? Yeah, David, newly elected city attorney Ann Davidson, uh, ran on a platform of accountability for criminals who commit crimes. Today she announced a cooperative agreement to focus on repeat offenders to get them into treatment they need or to jail. Put down the no stuff. Way. Put it down. Seattle police say Dylan Jackman is a habitual offender, moved to Seattle 15 months ago, and already has 18 different cases for shoplifting, threatening store employees referred by police to the city prosecutor. And that metric qualifies him to be on a new list. Uh, these are people that have been engaged in regular, frequent criminal activity in the city of Seattle. It's a list of 118 repeat offenders who over the last five years are accused of committing roughly 2,400 crimes, including 1,100 thefts, nearly 600 trespass complaints, 400 assaults, and 100 weapons violations. It shouldn't have gotten this bad uh, for this long for that many individuals. It has been. Uh, we can't allow it to continue for them or for the public. So now they'll be getting special treatment by Seattle police, city and county prosecutors, the jail, and the courts. Will you be asking to keep these people in jail longer just so they're off the street? If need be, that will be the case. Because of COVID, the King County Jail has not been booking people behind bars accused of nonviolent offenses like shoplifting. It, officers would, would end up making an arrest, take them back to the precinct, and then they would be released uh, without uh, going to jail. So where does the jail play a role in all this? I mean, if they're not accepting bookings, will they accept bookings now? Well, that's part of the agreement. The jail has agreed that any of the 118 offenders can be booked into jail for nonviolent offenses. The cases will be pushed to the head of the line, some consolidated and packaged for longer jail times or requirements to seek treatment as an alternative. How is this initiative going to make the public have confidence in you that these people are taken off the street one way or another and they won't pose a hazard to someone else? Well, again, I think what is different uh... The ideas might be similar sounding, but the, the way it's different is, again, the open communication I've established and will continue to establish with public safety partners. But it's only people who meet a certain criteria. John Lomax, the guy accused of stealing 22 times from the Seattle downtown Target, including a 70-inch TV, he's not on the list. He just hasn't been accused of stealing often enough. Now, we asked if we get that list of 118 offenders so we could follow their progress through the courts and hold the city attorney accountable. Well, the city attorney's office said no, and they're keeping it confidential. Back to you guys.